How you doing today? Welcome to Moe's Bath. Today we're going to do some pipe fabricating. We're going to draw, draw some dead legs. Dead legs are commonly, they're a pipe support off the back of an elbow. You have to the left here a concentric application. For our example problem, we're coming off a 12 inch long radius butt well 90. Concentric would be, it'd be right on that center line. We're going to use an eight inch pipe support. Then to the right, you have an eccentric application. Okay, you should be able to do this. At the end of this, it will come easy to you. The eccentric application in the horizontal plane would be something that would look like such. Horizontal pipe on supports, 90 comes short of hitting that last beam. Well, that eight inch off the back where it's flush and you have good, good support system. So to do that, we're going to follow these easy steps. Our problem we're going to draw is a 12 inch 90 with an eight inch standard 40 concentric application. And that's going to call for eight ordinance. You're going to draw a saddle first. That's the first part of this problem. Use the OD for the 90, use the ID for the branch. The center of the 90 we'll call A. Divide the branch up four times into four, 45 degree pieces and bring up perpendicular till they hit the OD of the 90. Number to match the drawing. Take your soapstone compass, get yourself a flat table, some concrete, draw your OD. About four inches below that, draw your ID. In this application on top, the compass was set at six and three eighths. Down here, the compass should be set at four. Draw your ID. Now you're going to take that circle and you're going to divide it up into four equal pieces. Take your compass and you can make an arc. Don't move your compass. Make that same radius and they have just hit with no math. You have laid out those 45s. Do that again on the other side. Okay. And then all you got to do is bring them up. Bring them up till they hit three, <coughs> two and four, one and five, two and four, and then three. Keep everything square plumb perpendicular and you'll be all good. Now we're going to go to the next page. Okay. Now we're going to draw We're going to draw line AB. Line AB originates from A and it's the radius of the 90. In this case it's 1 foot 6 cuz it's 12 inch pipe. Then draw the back arc of the 90. Compass should be set from point B and set it at 2 foot 3 8 because the 90 is 1 foot 6 and half the pipe is 6 and 3 8 B. Here's your back. Boom. Now draw the inside. Okay. That's 11 5 eighths. The center line of the 90 was 1 foot 6 minus 6 and 3 eighths gives me 11 and 5 eighths. OD to ID. Let's proceed to the next page. <clears throat> this is important. Keep in mind we're still doing a 12 inch 90 with the eight inch standard 40 concentric calls for eight ordinance. Now take the framing square 
and come off line AB perpendicular where ordinate 2 and 4 hit the OD of the header and where 3 hit the OD of the 90, we'll call this point C and D. I'm going to help you out here. Take your square. <coughs> we'll blow this up a little bit. Bring that square down when it hits right here. Square that off. Mark that D. 2 and 4, the green line where it hits the circle. Square that off. We'll call that C. Okay, you got to remember to do that. <coughs> That's what your layout should look like right now. <coughs> now, you're going to draw the green arc. Okay, you're going to set your compass from B to point C. Let's do this. From B. to point C. That would be your ordinate two and four arc. Okay, draw the green arc from B to C. Now draw the magenta arc from B to D. Magenta. Then proceed and draw the ID of the dead leg at one foot six from the face of the 90 and divide into four equal pieces. You can see down here at one foot six, you have to draw it again. You're trying to get a three dimensional fab piece of a two-dimensional piece of concrete or a whiteboard. So you got to draw it three times, twice to get X, Y, and Z coordinates. Draw that circle again. Remember that it's eight inch circle. Okay, this is where, draw that circle, divide into four equal pieces. Bring the corresponding lines up till they hit the corresponding dots or the arcs, okay, you got ordinate 5, ordinate 5 is off the back, that's the first arc, ordinate 1 is going to be 0, okay, the next one, would be two and four. Two and four. And then three. That's your inside arc, your smallest arc. Then take your baseline, keep that perpendicular, take your square. Bring that up along that outside line. When it hits, we're gonna we're actually gonna blow this up for you. This this is important. Bring your square where it hits the outside of that pipe. That's gonna be your wraparound line. Okay, that's going to be your wraparound line or your baseline. That's what you're going to measure to. All right, then what we're going to do, is we're going to record these dimensions. These dimensions here are your ordinate lengths. This would be ordinate five. Boom, that's ordinate five. 
That's ordinate four. That's ordinate three. That's ordinate two. Ordinate one is zero. So follow the verbiage. Draw the idea of the dead leg at one foot six because it's concentric. Divide into four pieces, bring up to the corresponding arc, put baseline. So ordinate one equals zero inch. This is where the one hits the outside arc. Measure the remaining ordinates from baseline to corresponding arc. This would be a side view of the branch and how it would be installed on the piece of pipe. You have your branch, your wraparound, ordinate five, four, three, two, and one. These are the actual numbers. Five is nine and seven sixteenths. Four is eight and five eighths. Three is five and five eighths. Two is one and three quarters and one is zero. Connect them with a piece of band iron. Okay. That is the concentric right there. For the eccentric, it's no different. All you gotta do is keep, keep the backs flush. You gotta keep the backs flush. So when you're all done, it's not gonna rock on that, that beam or support. And you can see right there that everything is in the same plane. So you could draw it wherever you want, concentric or eccentric, pretty simple. And there'll be more of this pipe fab to come, and we'll talk to you soon. See you later.